Four days into the ongoing search for Athena Brownfield, the four year old reported missing Tuesday. State investigators say there is still an active search. New tonight, two of Athena's caregivers have been arrested. One of them just had their first court appearance in Arizona, apparently facing this just coming in a homicide charge. The other caregiver scheduled a court appearance today in Anadarko. KOCO's Elise Jones has been following this very closely. She's live with us at the Caddo County Courthouse. Elise, what's the latest in the investigation? Evan, just both of those caregivers of Athena Brownfield behind bars, Ivan and Alicia Adams. Now, like you said, just in, we got these documents from ABC Phoenix that says Ivan Adams could be facing child homicide charges here in Oklahoma. Now, he did appear in court today in Phoenix, where he is. He's expected to be extradited back within the next 30 days or so, and they said that he was being held on a $1 million bond. Now, as for Alicia, we were here in Anadarko all day. She was expected to be in court, but because of the judge and district attorney's discretion, that didn't happen. So we don't know any possible accusations against her. We also are unsure of her bond right now. But what we do know is that this still is an active search for little Athena Brownfield. Alicia Adams still has yet to face a judge in Caddo County after being arrested Thursday on two counts of child neglect. Her husband, Ivan Adams, was seen in court in Phoenix, Arizona. I want to get there and take care of it. So you, okay, so you want to waive your right? I don't want to hear and hear where he waits to be extradited back to Oklahoma. The couple's arrest come days after a four-year-old little girl, Athena Brownfield, who was in their care, went missing. A postal carrier found Athena's five-year-old sister in the yard alone. That's when police were called and the search began. The Surreal Police Chief Garrett Rainey speaking out for the first time. It's, it's been a lot to deal with. I have myself and one other officer. Two officers make up the small town's police department, so when they came to this house and heard reports of a missing child, they called for help. You know, Fletcher Police Department, our Sheriff's Office, Apache Police Department, um, Verdon, our, our fire department for sure. It was hectic. Um, typically, we don't, we don't have something like this happen here. Chief Rainey says despite the nonstop calls, nights of no sleep and stress weighing on the community. Just keep hope. You know, we, uh, this is what we do. You know, this is our job. This is what we pour our hearts into. So it's instances like this. So just don't give up hope. We'll be back to normal, you know, hopefully sooner than later. Um, just, just don't give up hope. Just keep pushing. And we reached out to OSBI multiple times today, hoping for answers. We were told that there shouldn't be any major updates in the investigation today. Now, obviously, with this breaking news, we're going to work to get the latest details and bring them to you as soon as we can.